Now that we have the parametric cell of the sink created and added into the data group system, we can place it in the model. This cell will be placed using the object tool. The object tool is used for placing a wide range of content, so first we need to select the data group catalog type. So equipment retail is where we created our catalog item. From that pull down, we can select the catalog item that we created, sink drop in one. Note our three placement points that we created. We can select any of them for placement of the cell. The depth offset lets us set a dimension from the placement point and the point that we will select. We will use the front of the counter to place the sink. We can place the cell relative to the active ACS, which in this case is set to the counter height. This means we do not need any base offset for the height. Now, if we scroll down through the properties, we will find the parametric definition. These are any exposed variables that we did not map to existing data group properties. We can still modify these dimensions on the fly prior to placing the sink cell. We can also see the data group properties for the length and width, which we mapped to the variables for the overall width and depth of the sink. These properties will show in the schedule dialog. These can also be modified prior to placing the sink. Now we just place the sink along the front edge of the counter. Note that it perforates the counter. Now let's place a second sink that I created with three bowls. Again, we can select a placement point, set the dimensions, and then place the sink along the counter edge. Note that in the isometric and front view, the 3D model of the sink is displayed. But in the top view, it is the 2D graphics that are displayed in the view. And this is due to named presentation. If we switch over to the plan view, we can see that the 2D graphics are also displayed since this is a top view. Again, this is controlled by the named presentation setting in the view attributes for the drawing. So as long as named presentation is toggled on in the view attributes for a particular view, the 3D portions of the cell will be visible whenever the view is rotated to a front, back, side, or any ISO or camera view, but will display the 2D graphics in the top or bottom view. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.